Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to get seven interest rate hikes because it would put us into a recession. The Fed has seen this story before. They know that movie. They're not going to do that. We still have structural issues, and one of them is inflation, primarily on protein and food and energy. Energy may self-resolve quickly. The sentiment's changing there about getting more production happening in the U.S. And we have politics at play, which often starts to focus the government on issues to try to reduce inflation. If I were Biden right now going into these midterms and I have all these supporters in my party worried about what I'm doing about solving the price of chicken and steak and all kinds of other food items and gasoline at over five dollars in San Diego I think you're going to start to see some job owning that may take the pressure off there I'm just more optimistic I love it when everybody turns because it gives you a buying opportunity I mean it, the sentiment right now is getting really negative and I've seen this movie before. I hope it gets even worse. Let me buy more stock. So you think we're bottoming? We're, if we're not yes. there, we're close? We're close. You can never pick the bottom. I wish I could. But I've started to average into the decimated names and all this negativity piling in. This is the opportunity. You have to learn from the past. Well, what are the decimated I've... names? What are you talking about specifically? Well, pick any tech stock you wish. You pick a monster like Facebook. That's taken up behind the barn and cut in half. You think people have stopped advertising on Facebook? No, they haven't. The Chinese names are on sale today, seven and nine percent down. What a slaughter fest! That's after they've been cut in half. So you know, yeah, I've but seen this. That's not representative before. of the overall market. Those are individual story things. Those Chinese names, for a variety of reasons, they're down because you have the biggest uptick in COVID cases in mainland China since the start of the pandemic, and then you obviously have the regulatory, the delisting issues that have weighed heavily on those stocks. So I hear you. They're attractive, maybe, to someone like you because they've come down a lot, but that's not representative of a pullback in the overall market. The market may very well be up, and those stocks could still be down. It's important that everybody hate the name you're buying. Absolutely important. You want to have every analyst saying it's going to zero, then you buy some. That's how it works. You have to look at the fundamental growth rates. That's what matters about everything. Growth, growth, growth. Are they still growing or not? Now, energy, you know, which was a great ride, I'd say it's time to sell. I've done that. That was a fantastic move, but it's over right. because we're going to solve our energy problems.